Today, we are heading underwater to take a look at a well-known and often feared type of fish. Sharks! When many people think of sharks, they think of fierce, angry monsters that spend their lives searching in search of swimmers, surfers or divers to eat. But although we might spend a lot of time thinking about sharks, most sharks couldn't care less about us. In fact, most sharks are more scared of us than we are of them. First, let's take a look at some of the characteristics and behaviours of these fascinating creatures. Like all fish, sharks spend all of their lives in water. Most live in the ocean, but some also venture into saltwater estuaries and rivers. A few shark species can survive in freshwater, like bull sharks, which are known to swim thousands of kilometres up the Amazon River. Sharks are cold-blooded, which means their body temperature is regulated by the surrounding water temperature. Generally, the warmer the water, the more active the sharks tend to be. Sharks have a well-developed digestive system, heart, and circulatory system. Like all fish, they have gills, which they use to take in oxygen from water. Sharks have a skeleton that is different from most other vertebrate animals. Rather than being made of bone, their skeleton is made of cartilage. Like bone, cartilage is strong and durable, but much more flexible and lighter than bone. This helps them stay afloat and reduces the amount of energy they need to move about. Being flexible also allows sharks to move about and change direction at great speed. Sharks have a unique body covering called denticles allowing them to cut through water faster and easier. Perfect for hunting schools of fish. So why should we not be scared of sharks? Sharks come in a diverse range of shapes and sizes. The smallest, the dwarf lantern shark, is smaller than your hand. So you don't need to worry about these little fellas. Then there's whale sharks, which can reach lengths of more than 15 metres. These gentle giants filter feed on microscopic plankton, so there's no worries there either. In fact, of more than 400 species of sharks, there's really only three known to attack people. Bull sharks, tiger sharks, Great Whites. Sharks are also really easy to avoid. Most active hunters in the very early morning or late evening, which is usually when people have finished their time in the water. Most sharks are also found in water temperatures of below 25 degrees Celsius, which is not comfortable for people to swim in. Although shark attacks are often sensationalised on the news, most are not even shark attacks at all. They are shark encounters whereby a curious shark may approach a swimmer, only to swim quickly away. Generally, sharks fear us. We don't need to fear them. We can think of sharks like the dogs we keep as pets. Okay, they may bite the occasional mailman, but they don't really cause us any problems at all. In your lifetime, you are far more likely to be bitten by a dog, struck by lightning, or struck on the head by a falling coconut than you are to be attacked by a shark. Rather than fear sharks, 
they should be respected and conserved. Sharks have been evolving on Earth for more than 450 million years, well before the time of the dinosaurs. Sadly, movies like Jaws have given sharks an undeserved reputation. Rather than searching oceans to hunt down swimmers, sharks play a really important role in helping to maintain healthy ecosystems. As top predators, they help to keep fish populations at healthy levels, leaving our reefs intact and helping to maintain healthy seagrass fields, which are vital in the diets of dugongs, sea turtles and many other marine animals. Sadly, the population of many species of sharks are declining and more than 300 species are classified as threatened. Millions of sharks are killed each year as a source of food, as bycatches from other fishing activities, or simply culled to reduce their numbers on the incorrect presumption that it makes our waters safer. It's time we change our opinion on these majestic wonders of the ocean and start to take a more active role in conserving them so they can continue to keep our oceans healthy for millions more years in the future. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe!